and welcome back to the channel <clears throat> on this video uh, I want to talk about the no motor vehicle sign as recently I did a video where we came into Keith and I my friend Keith was with me on this uh, particular video and we did a ride that we ran into a situation where there was a sign posted no motor vehicles and we went for it it was just a short distance uh, little uh, pathway <clears throat> to get through into this park that we were going to and so I made it into a short and showed that video that part where we ran into the sign and we decided to just go through I think it's fine so so now I looked up exactly what constitutes at least as far as an e-bike uh, a motor vehicle is is the electric bicycle which i'm riding right now the ride one up cafe cruiser and what that's the bike i was riding at the time of the uh, recording is this actually considered a motor vehicle yes it does have a motor on it but I can't speak for every single state because I don't know, but in most states, I think everyone, but at least for sure most, and at least uh, I know for sure my state here where I'm living in Oregon, uh, this uh, electric bicycle is not considered a motor vehicle. So, Technically and, uh, and otherwise we can ride through well, like it's not a problem you can do it Because we are recognized as a bicycle even though there is a motor on the bicycle We are still recognized as a bicycle And I'm going to go up to where there's another sign I know around here that says no motorized vehicles. I've not gone through on this one before, but someday I will. It's just too wet and mu uh, muddy and all that to go on there right now because it's a dirt path. Um, but I've come up to this sign in the past and then just not gone because I didn't do it at the time. I wasn't uh, I wasn't positive but I had a feeling that this wouldn't be considered a motor vehicle even though technically it does have a motor on it and I guess if you take the words of a moped all of these bikes would kind of be a moped when you think about it because I guess he's letting me go because they're all pedal bikes and they all have a motor on it so moped anyway uh, I'm going to get up here to the sign but yeah it is an interesting topic it depends on your state you might have different, like maybe motorized vehicle will include an e-bike. I think if it was going to include an e-bike, especially these days with so many of them on the road or on the bike paths or whatever, uh, maybe they should be more defined with their signs and say no electric bicycles if they don't want the electric bicycles. But then there'd be a whole lot of questions on that one. Because how on one hand can they consider, the government, consider your bike as a 
consider it as a bicycle even though it has a motor on it and then the pathways are seeing you as a motor vehicle and not allow you so that would be interesting if that ever came to be but anyway it's just down here but let me know in the comments what you think of that and where you are do you have some signs that say or pathways that say no motor vehicles and do you go on or do you not go on those I'm not going to go all the way in there with the bike because it is kind of muddy, but I'm going to stop here, shut that off for the moment. I'm going to go over to this sign. So this one's a little different than the one yesterday, just or the last day I the video was no motor vehicles. This one says no unauthorized motorized vehicles beyond this point. So this one says it a little bit different and I'm obviously not going to go on that trail today because first of all it looks a little wet so I don't want to go on there right now but so that's that and I want to read this so I've got something written here that exactly the words of the what it says, what I found. It says, in most U.S. states, electric bicycles or e-bikes are not considered motor vehicles and are defined as traditional bicycles. This means that you can ride on an e-bike without a license, insurance, or registration with the State Department of Motor Vehicles. However, the classification of e-bike varies by region and local regulations. For example, in Oregon State, law defines a motor vehicle as a vehicle that is self-propelled or designed for self-propulsion. Uh, however, another statute states that an electric bicycle, electric assisted bicycle, shall be considered a bicycle rather than a motor vehicle. So that's the wording that I got on this. So. Uh, maybe that helps some people uh, depending on your state check your state laws but that's Oregon as well as many other states are similar so I'm just gonna ride my electric bicycle and enjoy it and hopefully you can as well and if anybody gives you grief just tell them to go and look it up for themselves if they don't like it they'll have to lump it I guess. So I'm going to ride my bike and get back on here and enjoy it. As shall you. Just ride uh, wisely and smart and uh, don't do anything crazy and you'll be good. So, to the laws of the land, we are bicycles. Oh, this guy's going super duper slow. Come on, buddy. I don't think. Oh, uh, he didn't even signal. Oh, she. Bad, bad, bad. They're worried about the e-bikes and our laws. What about that? Yeah, he says, what about that?
here comes a car. Nice to see all the uh, leaves getting back on the trees. Love the springtime. Gets color back in. In and also nicer temperatures. I just don't want no more rain. We've had enough rain. Drives me crazy when the when on the uh, news and you hear the weather forecasts and all, and they'll say we're below normal by an inch and a half this month for rain for April. I'm thinking, gee, all the rain we've had, and we're still behind. I mean, I'm not opposed to riding in the rain, but I, my preference is sunshine. 70 to 75 degree temperature is perfect for an e-bike. Right now we're very cool. We're around 50 degrees, so a little bit on the chilly side, but not bad with the sun out. That's a lot of cars coming. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to turn around. Because I don't want to go straight. I wanted to turn there. So. With all those cars, I didn't want to wait. So I'm going to pull a Yui right about here. Yeah. So let me know in the comments what you think of that law. Do you think that sounds about right? About uh, e-bikes, electric bicycles being not considered a motor vehicle? I agree with that. I know they have a motor on it, but I think of them more as bicycles. They're a hybrid, is exactly what they are, between a, a moped and a bicycle. They're right in the middle. Of course, you get some that are the style of a moped, look a lot like a moped, and they always get the negative comments because of the looks. Oh, they look like a motorcycle or they look like a moped. That's a moped. Hello. Nice day to walk your dog. Just don't get caught in the rain shower. Well, that's going to do it for this video, talking about motorized or no motorized vehicle law signs and what the law is for that, for pertaining to uh, electric bicycles. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the uh, like button. If you would like to subscribe and support the channel, thank you very much. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and uh, leave that in the comments below. Don't forget to tell your friends about us. Share the videos. 
And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road.